Beloved, March 11, 2019, in dreams, I was taken to a neighborhood where there were some houses. Some of them were of very poor people, and one of them, it was seen that the owner had more monetary power. In the houses of the humble, everyone sat at the table to eat as a family and to do morning and evening services. They looked smiling, calm, resting from the daily work in the fields. So I was invited to go to the opulent house. When I entered it, I realized that on the first floor, it was prepared with many chairs as if there were going to be an event where many people would go. This house had a second floor. On it, a podium from where those who addressed the guests spoke. The family of that house had three adolescent daughters and a son. The youngest was a baby. The father of the family was very stubborn and was reluctant to the message of salvation. As I spoke from the podium on the second floor to the people who arrived and occupied the chairs on the first floor, I realized that these were all Adventists and I met many faces there and I saw the Sabbath school lesson in their hands. I saw them and as I spoke to them, they fixed their eyes on that lesson and their mind raised on this. I stopped the exhortation and asked who is interested in what is being said. A lady then picked up the Sabbath school lesson and said, This is so much better. I can't stop reading it. As the woman raised the lesson, my eyes were fixed on it. And on its cover, I read the words ecumenism. I immediately answered the lady, That lesson is not approved by God. Stay away from it. But she caressed it and clung to it. So I asked God for something to happen to open the eyes of these people. Then, at that moment, a not very large serpent came out of this lady's lesson and bit her on the side of the heart. She then fell sideways on top of another person who was next to her. Then several were scandalized and began to throw their lessons to the ground. I asked one to pick them up and take it out, and this, paralyzed with fear, took long. At that time, I saw how in the rest of Sabbath school lessons came out also snakes biting everyone in their path. In a loud and very audible voice, I said to them, Get out, get out. Some ran outside. I saw them leave, leaving the door of the house open. I thought that the snakes would come out, but they did not come out and stayed inside. I kept insisting that they come out, but sleepy, because of the snakes, couldn't find the door. And I saw them fall, annihilated by their venom. The head of the family was furious and with his three daughters, began to yell at me and throw me out of that house. In an instant, my eyes opened, and I saw the large foreheads of those daughters, something written on each one of them. Conformism, seduction, and procrastination. When I saw this, my heart was scared, and their father, looked at me with fury on his forehead. He also had a written sign, but it was in English, that read, Sister of Babylon. It came to my mind that the servant of God said many years ago that we ran the risk of being a sister of Babylon. I ran out of that house, and when I left, I saw a large sign on its door that said, separate from it and do not touch the unclean. Outside, I attended those who were able to leave. Their bites made them wander. But my companion told me, 
give them this. He gave me a glass bottle and a glass and said, a glass for each one. So I went one by one of them and they took that red liquid and their disease disappeared. So one by one, they were cured. And then we went to humble houses in a large and beautiful field where all cured, we praised and glorified God for his great salvation. At that moment there, I woke up. I woke up grateful to God for his wonderful care for each of his children. May the Lord bless you all.